We'll start the Jeep JL Wrangler front anti-rock installation by getting the Jeep up in the air and removing the front wheels and tires. Start by removing the factory sway bar links from the differential housing with an 18mm wrench and a socket. Using a 15mm socket, remove the two bolts from each side of the vehicle and pull the factory sway bar assembly out as one unit. The Curry Anti-Rock Sway Bar Kit comes with everything you need for an easy installation, including the bar, sway bar arms, prime jointed adjustable links, frame brackets and bushings, plus all the necessary hardware to install the kit. Start by installing the Delrin Sway Bar bushings into the brackets with a mallet. On some vehicle frames, you'll need to dress the factory wells to allow the sway bar brackets to properly fit in place. Apply blue thread locker to the new sway bar bracket hardware. When installing the frame brackets, install both bolts to align the brackets. Using a 15mm socket, tighten and torque the front bolt, but leave the rear bolt loose for the time being. Apply grease inside the sway bar bushings and then on the outside of the sway bar. Insert the sway bar into the sway bar brackets and slide it all the way across. Then drive the bar through the opposite bracket with a mallet. Confirm that the bar is centered in the vehicle with a tape measure. With the sway bar centered in between the brackets, you may now go back and tighten the rearmost bracket bolt with a 15 millimeter socket. Back on the passenger side, install the sway bar arm onto the bar and then install the arm retaining hardware with a half inch socket followed by the pinch bolt which is a 916 wrench and socket. Repeat this arm installation process on the driver's side. Assemble the sway bar links by threading on the jam nuts first and then installing the heim joints. Thread the heim joints all the way down until they stop. Your finished links should look something like this. Install the passenger side link to the sway bar arm and then install the lower end onto the differential housing bracket using the misalignment spacers and the half inch bolt with the hardware. Now go back and tighten the studded heim joint to the sway bar arm using a 5 8 and 3 quarter inch wrench combination. Tighten the half inch bolt at the housing using a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket. You may now tighten your sway bar link jam nuts using a 19 millimeter wrench on the heim joint and a 3 quarter inch wrench on the nut. Your finished passenger side installation should look something like this. Moving on to the driver's side, you will simply install the studded heim joints, both top and bottom, using a 5 8 and 3 quarter inch wrench. After your link installation, tighten all the jam nuts. Your finished driver's side installation should look something like this. With your anti-rock sway bar installation complete, you may now lower the vehicle, reinstall your wheels and tires, and torque your lug nuts. For more information, check us out at rockjock4x4.com or you can see us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.